you guys. Today I'm awfully chirpy because I get to use all that stuff. Well, not all of it, but some of it. This is from Basecraft. Uh, let me show you. Here. That's uh, from Basecraft. That's the real star of the show today. Even though our little miniature here isn't too bad, if I do say so myself. After all, I painted it. The Basecraft stuff is really, 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 really good. Um, they really know what it's all about. Uh, they do a huge range of, uh, of basing materials. I've unboxed them before. I won't present them all to you, but I will try and base this miniature in Basecraft stuff. Now, this is a Merck's miniature. And uh, this guy is from the Calder Climbs. He's actually a uh, Russian guy. He's from the USCR. So I think a winter base is in order. We do have many things to choose from. I think this, uh, let, let's see. We have little bits of wood here. Maybe a, a tree trunk of, or of some sort. Uh, we could break, a, break it a bit and, uh, and put, put it in front. No, it doesn't work. No, I think we'll do it nice and simple. No rocks, no bits of wood, although we could. Um, no rocks, no bits of wood. Just a simple winter base uh, so as not to obstruct the view uh, of, uh, of the paint job of the miniature because the base is a bit a bit small I think the um, the the bigger objects the the rocks the river rocks and uh, and the wood are for larger bases and big beasties at least that's how I would use it so a winter base uh, will need a very dark soil uh, we have soil scatter here we have an autumn scatter that could be interesting oh, no, it's, no it's too it's too light see the soil scatter this one is better I, I, I think there is a lot to choose from let's see we have we have two of them which one is oh, there's less of it in this one so we'll use this one instead We'll use soil scatter to do the uh, for for the for the for the ground, and I think uh, our our man will be um, standing on some snow. Here we have snow flock and deep snow. Deep snow is uh, snow that's more packed, more much more dense, and this is a snow flock that actually simulates little flocks of snow. It's a little gritty, grittier, and uh, it um, it goes down like uh, like uh, ice, and not like slush, you know. So that's the stuff we're going to use. We still need something clearer, I think, than just black and white. Uh, we'll, we'll set these aside for for the moment. Um, I'm looking for something a, a bit like like this. You now that's sand that won't do at all. You see, this miniature has brown uh, bags and brown parts. I'm looking for something that um, reminds your, your 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 eye on the base that reminds you of this color. Uh, something a bit similar, something brownish, and. Um, which also would make sense if this guy were a bit camouflaged, you know, in his environment. So he's all grey, green, brown, you know, he's pretty much camouflaged. The green might not might be out of place in winter, but it's it's clear enough. That's brown leaves. Let let's see, we have leaves there. Leaves would be uh, interesting to have fallen leaves in, in the winter, in the beginning of winter, perhaps. We have 
those three kinds. I think we can rule out the green ones that not not wintery enough. Brown leaves and autumn leaves. Let's see what put next to the miniature. What's the best course of action here? Oh, it's a close call. <sighs> okay, I think we're going to go with the brown leaves because they're a bit, a bit more depressing. And uh, winter bases are all about being depressing, really, I think. So, yes. So, brown leaves, snow, more snow, and here's some soil. This will be the three colors of our base. Right. <coughs> so, basically, this guy here will be standing on soil. He'll, he'll be, uh, he, he may walk in snow, but there's still, there still going to be soil on the base. Let's see, no, that's, that's not it really. We're going to use super glue to glue the things. Um, we would use PVA glue, except it takes ages to dry. And that's not what we want for this tutorial. You can use PVA glue, it's absolutely fine. It's better actually, but uh, super glue is almost just as well. It works fine, it dries quickly, and as long as you varnish the whole thing afterwards, there'll be no problem. The, the stuff won't unglue itself from the base. But you do have to varnish afterwards. All right, this is a bit of super glue that I've already used. Put a few drops of super glue here. Put the cap on slightly here. And I'll use a little bit of a coffee stirrer that I broke earlier. Or rather that Justin broke earlier because he's kind. And I will spread the glue here underneath and in the recesses, especially since this is a hollow base, you know, with a round lip. There. This is half of the base right there. It will be done in soil scatter. I will see, I'll open that and plunge it in like so. Shake it a little. There's some stuck to the bottom of the base. Heavens knows why. Let's, oh, oh dear. Let's tap it here. Now, I think that's all. And let me show you here. Get some more glue on there. My faithful, loyal coffee stirrer. There in the recesses, it's perfectly fine. And here we go again. Tapping it, and on the other side, perhaps. Yeah. There, you see the 
the base uh, the, the soil is pretty much done we won't need that anymore probably <coughs> just set it aside I'll just clean this up so that we can have a nice and clean table look at that isn't that neat right now on this are fallen leaves from the last autumn I think we'll put some glue here and here and here. That's a lot of glue, but okay, that's how it came. And uh, we want to grab a little bit of our brown leaves and just put some on here. Yeah, wherever they might stick. Not here, perhaps. I think just here and here. These are little seeds, tree seeds and, uh, and the like. I think uh, we'll put some more behind that man. Oh, woman, I think. I mean, it's pretty. Oh, that's a lot of glue. Let's absorb it a little. The base might need some touching up later. I think we'll put a leaf here leaf here and another one here these are rather big for a miniature this size but it you know it still works there there right on the side of the base we don't really there's nothing that forbids you to glue something on the side of the on the lip of the base really right let's gather the leaves in excess put them back in the box and set that aside lovely little leaves we'll wait for that glue to dry a little and then i think Yes, I think it will be on to the snow. We'll put some more glue. We'll put some glue here, on there. That's a lot of it, but never mind. And we'll use the deep snow. There will be a patch of snow behind this guy. That will be quite, quite deep. Deep snow is a very, very fine stuff so I want to take uh, this little coffee stirrer and kind of drop it here and break the little rocks it might make there leave that to dry a bit and I think that's it really there. This is a, a patch of deep snow. I think it deserves another go. Perhaps here a little. Let's have some more glue on our miniature. Let me show you. Here, where the snow is deeper, supposedly. And 
Let's get some more snow on there. Once we blew on it, I think that's all for the deep snow part. And there, uh, that's uh, actually that's a nice powdery snow. Yes. And now for the upper crust of the snow, the the later flocks that just fell on the ground. We'll use the snow flock, which is a little grittier. Still, let's put some glue there. It's all done in layers, really. Put some glue here and on the leaves here that are supposed to be adorned with these uh, flocks. We'll grab our little thingy and actually we'll put some glue perhaps here on the uh, on the feet on the toes of our miniature so that it uh, it appears to have been walking through snow. There. And now we plunge our miniature into this. And uh, perhaps we remove some of it with a little tool. I, I'll put some more on here, there with the glue, and with our other tool, the flatter one, we'll put that little scoops of snow on here. That's done for that that part. I'll use that little scrubby thing, coffee stirrer, to remove some of the snow. You can, so you can, you can still see the leaves underneath, you see. But it's all pretty frozen. And you can still see the dark soil that's also been frozen. Once the glue has dried, this transparency here will actually be replaced by something white. You'll see later on. The, uh, the snow will be indeed white and slightly reflective. That's how good the uh, base craft stuff is. I'll just clean up a little here and show you what that's like. There. Now, you can see that's a nice winter base, frozen, and a lovely mercenary from the USCR that has been walking in his armor through the sludge and the snow. Quite nice. You can still see the leaves underneath. It's, I really like that. I really like those basic materials. Right, well, that's all for me. I'll see you next tutorial. Bye then. Mm -hmm.